Hi, my name is Moshumi Das and I am a professor here at the Indian Institute of Astrophysics. I got here by studying, basically studying physics. I did an undergraduate at Presidency College in, with physics honours and then I did a master's and I did a PhD at the Indian Institute of Science in the Joint Astronomy Programme. After that, I did several years of postdoctoral research. I don't think it was required that many years, but I just wasn't getting the right job. I did some teaching in Bits Pilani, Hyderabad, and then finally I got my job here as an assistant professor at the Indian Institute of Astrophysics. Now, the question that whether I faced any gender bias, and uh, very honestly speaking, yes, I did face a lot of gender bias. In fact, I got my first faculty, I, I reached the IA only in my mid 40s. When I joined this place, I was already uh, 46. And one of the main reasons was that I was not getting a good research position anywhere. I feel because of gender bias. But that I think has changed over the years because when I was applying for jobs, um, things were very different. And maybe I made a lot of mistakes. I, I focused a little bit on my family. I have also made my mistakes. I think things are much better now and the gender bias is, is slowly, slowly changing, at least in the cities and in the big institutes it's changing. Now the work I'm involved in is basically understanding galaxies, understanding galaxy dynamics, understanding how galaxies evolve, all parts of it. So the disk, the star formation, the nuclear evolution, the supermassive black hole, I'm interested in all parts of galaxies and especially their dark matter heroes. And what I use uh, to do this really is my knowledge of physics. So if anyone out there is studying physics now, is thinking about a career in astronomy, my advice is please do your physics really well because it's your basic understanding of classical mechanics, electromagnetics, optics. These will really provide your main tools for doing astronomy research, for doing a PhD in astronomy. The, quite the main advice I have for young girls who will want to pursue a career in science is uh, first thing, keep your mind open. Things change. You may want a career doing only equations, but then you'll have to do observations. Or you might want to do only numerical analysis, but you might have to change. Keep your mind open. Always be flexible. Of course, working hard is a given. Everyone works hard if you want an academic career. Um, but keep yourselves also open to doing other things just rather than just science. For example, instrumentation, that's very important. If you want to be involved with the large telescopes, you have to know how to build it partly, at least take some part of it. The second thing is teaching, teaching and training students. That's really a very important part because I think a large fraction of you who are training to be scientists will end up in the university sector where you will be teaching students physics, but you will also be training future researchers. So giving back to astronomy community via teaching, training more students and by maybe being part of instrumentation projects to build large mega, mega projects, which you may not use, but your students will use. These are very important pieces of advice. Also, the last thing I want to say is, we are a country where women still have to struggle a lot, even to have a career. And I'm not talking about us, I'm talking about the common woman, some woman who is just, you know, sweeping the floors. Everyone, all of us have to struggle. So keep your head up, help another woman. If you see another woman struggling in a job, you reach out to them. Because it's only by helping other women in this country that we will also be able to progress. So in your science career, aspiring for, aspiring for a science career, don't forget to also help the other women and take all the, you know, the brick and the brat that you get, brick, you know, all the, whatever the gender bias you may face, whatever the nasty comments you get, try to take it in your stride. Look at the big picture, because if you see the big picture, what you will finally achieve is far, far greater than what you will have to tolerate.